بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس اینڈ ریسپیکٹڈ مدرس آئی ایم یور سائنس ٹیچر مائی نیم از فرزانہ شاہین آئی ول ٹیچ یو سائنس ٹوڈے آئی ول ٹیچ یو دا لیسن لیونگ آن ارتھ یونٹ تھری اٹس پارٹ ٹو ایز دا ڈیٹیلڈ ایکسپلینیشنس آر گیون ان دا پریویس لیسن سو ہیئر وٹ discuss some important points and you will watch the video at the end of this lesson we will take start with a moral lesson today our moral lesson is respect others not only respect your elders respect your parents respect your fellows when you respect others then you will gain respect from them so that's why you have to respect others it's give you the better feelings so you have to respect others now here you can see on your screen their reading book pages it's unit 3 living on earth all of you will be familiar with these pages here we will discuss some important points of this lesson living on earth as detailed explanations has been given already if you have listened that explanation very carefully then you come to know that what are the objectives of this lesson i am repeating here some important points and i will ask some questions can anyone tell me the difference between living and non living things what are the living things Yes, living things can grow, they can eat, they show movement, they can reproduce. And what are the non-living things? Non-living things, they can't reproduce, they can't eat, they can't grow, they do not show any movement. Okay, these are the non-living things. Okay, the next thing, habitat, you have read the word here, you have read the word here, habitat. What is habitat? Habitat is a natural home for most of the plants and animal species. Different animals live in the different habitats. How you can say that different animals live in the different habitats? You all you know that tiger, lion and other wild animals live in the forests why they live in the forests because it's much larger area forest is a larger area including grassland trees rocks where they hunt their prey lion and tigers they can hunt their prey very easily in these forests so they live in the forests like camel live in the deserts fish live in the seas they are their habitats they are the natural homes okay here you have read the word ecosystem can anyone tell me what is the ecosystem ecosystem is a large community of living organisms plants and animals in a particular area that is the ecosystem now you have read the word here you have read the word endangered which animals are endangered those animals are in which are endangered of extinction they are becoming extinct why they are becoming extinct they are becoming extinct due to many reasons due to forest deforestation due to hunting because Forests are the natural habitat for most of the animals and plant species. When you cut the trees, they lost their homes. So, they need protection to survive. Those animals which are endangered of extinction, they need protection to survive. So, here at the end, you see the video. Good morning students. In today's video, we will learn about earth, the living
लिविंग प्लैनेट अर्थ इज अ यूनिक प्लैनेट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्लांट एंड एनिमल्स लिव हियर देर इज नो अदर प्लेस इन द यूनिवर्स वेर देर इज लाइफ Why is Earth called a unique or a living planet? Earth is called a living planet because life is possible on Earth. Now we all know that all living things need air, water and right amount of warmth to live. And we find all these things on Earth. Facts about Earth. Fact number 1. The earth gets heat and light from the sun. Fact number 2. The layer of air called the atmosphere surrounds the earth. So atmosphere is the layer of earth that surrounds the earth. It also protects us from harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun. Fact number 3. The surface of the earth is made up of land and water. So about three fourth of the earth is covered with water, and about one fourth of the earth is covered with land. The shape of the earth. Kids, have you ever stood in an open field or a seashore? If you have done so, then from there the earth appears flat. We don't see the curve; we see it flat. Earth. is a unique planet different kinds of plants and animals live here there's no other place in the universe where there but is it so is the earth really flat no about 500 years ago ferdinand magellan a portuguese sailor set out with his ships on a long journey from spain he kept on sailing in one direction after 3 years He reached the same place where he had started. This proved that Earth is round, and he sailed around the Earth. From outer space too, Earth looked like a huge ball to astronauts. What are astronauts? Astronauts are those people who travels in space in a spacecraft. The horizon. Now kids what is a horizon the place at which land and sky appears to meet is called the horizon it's not the place where they actually meet we feel that they appear to meet they are meeting at this point now every time we come closer to the horizon it seems to move further away because it is the point where it is only appearing to meet the coast A coast is a place where sea and land meets. The sky. The sky is the vast space surrounding the earth. It looks blue though it's not so. The sun, the stars and the moon are all the heavenly bodies that are present in this space. Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe us to watch other videos for grade three. Thank you. After watching this video, you have to make the questionnaire by yourself, containing five questions, and it will be your home task. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.